The President is briefed on verified intelligence, and again, I would just point you back to the absolutely irresponsible decision of the New York Times to falsely report that he was briefed on something that he, in fact, was not briefed on. Um, and I really think that it's time for the New York Times to step back and ask themselves why they've been wrong, so wrong, so often. The New York Times falsely claimed Paul Manafort asked for polling data to be passed along to Oleg, Oleg Deripaska before having to issue a correction. In June of 2017, the New York Times falsely wrote all 17 intel agencies had agreed on Russian interference before having to issue a correction that it was only four agencies. In 2017, February of that year, New York Times published a story claiming Trump campaign aides had repeated contacts with Russian intelligence, which even James Comey has said was almost entirely wrong, New York Times. New York Times published a column in March of 2019 by a former Times executive editor that asserted the Trump campaign in Russia had an overarching deal that the quit of help in the campaign against Hillary for the quo of a new pro-Russian foreign policy. That's what we call the Russia hoax, which was investigated for three years with taxpayer dollars before ultimately getting an exoneration in the Mueller report. It is inexcusable, the failed Russia reporting of the New York Times. And I think it's time that the New York Times and also the Washington Post hand back their Pulitzers. Oh,